Hello everyone, today we're going to learn some basics about ZenMap. Okay, let's go ahead and start. If you don't have the application already installed, go ahead and navigate to Nmap website and go to the download web page. If you scroll down, you should be able to locate this link which you can use and simply download this application on your platform. You can download it on Linux or Windows. It's also available on Mac OS. So after downloading and installing this application, go ahead and run the application as administrator. So if you're using Linux, make sure you run it as sudo privilege. As you can see, ZenMap has multiple pre-installed profile available to us. And these profile define different type of commands, as you can see, that are used in different type of scenarios. But we also can create our own custom command as well. And today I'm going to show you my own custom command that I name it discovery command. This command is a very fast command and that's the reason why we use dash f it's only gonna scan the top hundred ports and we're also gonna define dash pn as not to ping every single ip and consider them as all online and we're also gonna put dash n which basically means don't do reverse lookup so if you want to save this command so we can use it in future we simply go to profile we select new profile or command and we're gonna go ahead and give it a name we're going to name it discovery scan and we're going to go ahead and click save. This way, every time we want to use this specific command, we simply go to this drop down and we select our discovery scan. We can run these type of scans or any custom command that we want on a single target or a range of targets by simply defining their subnet. And today we're going to target our lab subnet, which is defined under 192. 168.1.0 and we're going to do slash 24 which basically means scan every 255 port available on this specific subnet. You can replace this with individual IP or a different subnet that you're in and then you simply click scan. This might take a couple of seconds but it shouldn't take that long because I don't have many device on my network and also we select dash F which basically means just scan the top 100 ports. Okay, so the results are available to us and as you can see, we've been able to discover multiple hosts and a lot of services actually. All of these protocols can be used for many different type of attack like SSH, FTP, you even have Triple P, uh, Telnet. So if we were actually trying to attack this network, we had a lot of advantage and we were able to use a lot of different type of attack to break into this network or to break into different systems. Under the Nmap output, you can also take a look at the final results of this scan, which shows you a lot of useful information under every single IP that uh, this scan was able to discover. So what we can do here is we can also go to host details and we can add some uh, comments here. I really like this feature because then we can create our baseline report. For example, we're going to say this is our domain controller or this is our DNS server. And then later on, we can compare this report with uh, the other scans we've done, like the scans that you do frequently, like daily or weekly, to see what are those unknown devices that have been added or even been removed from your network, so you can further investigate it. So let's actually go ahead and give this a try. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save this report that we were able to obtain from this scan. We're going to go to Scan. We're going to click Save As. We're going to go to our desktop, workspace, and I actually have a file available here. I'm just going to replace it, but you can go ahead and save it in any place you like, and you can go ahead and name it. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So now we have our baseline report available. Okay, so I have done some changes in my network and I've uh, ran another discovery scan and I came up with different results. So we can go ahead and compare our baseline with our new scan. So I'm going to go ahead and save this scan. I'm going to go ahead and save in the same place. And we're going to name it our report. All right, and we're going to go ahead and click save. Now we want to compare these two reports. So we go to tools and we select compare results. Uh, we're going to go ahead and 
uh, open our baseline and we're gonna go ahead and select our second scan which is a report as you can see there are some changes in our result which is very obvious so let's imagine you're doing this for enterprise network and it's gonna be very useful for you to be able to go over this results and see what has been added and what are the changes. Okay, so that's it for today. Before we end this video, I just want to let you know that this is the part one from the ZenMap training series. So I will be adding uh, a lot of ZenMap tutorials uh, for some advanced scanning. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. Thanks again and you have a great day.